gawin, we could uh, masundan natin yung sinasabi ng mga speakers natin later. Okay, next naman is keep the appetite for knowledge. knowledge. So, kailangan tayong uh, uh, curious pa din, patuloy tayong maging curious pa din para uh, hindi tayo natutulog later kasi kapag uh, hindi tayo eager diba, na mag-learn, of course, mamaya baka inaantok na tayo. So, next, refrain from going out of the Zoom meeting. So, ito yung importante ding kailangan natin i-observe. Huwag tayong pasok labas sa Zoom meeting kasi uh, nakaka-distract din sa mga nag admit Ayan, tsaka sa, sa host. Kasi, uh, tsaka sa mga speakers. Okay? So, next, mute your audio while the program is ongoing to avoid distraction. Ayan. So, please mute, mute your audio while the program is ongoing. Next, participate in the program and interact in the chat box. Ayan, so may, meron tayong chat box dito sa uh, Zoom and of course sa ating YouTube channel. Next, respond to the evaluation at the end of the program. So later, we will be sending an, a link of our evaluation. So please respond. It will be helpful for us to uh, make our uh, next programs better. And of course, yung ating evaluation form will serve as our attendance for this morning and a uh, basis for the release of certificates. Ayan. So, while waiting uh, sa, sa inyong mga, sa ibang classmates ninyo, so, uh, siguro you can take your uh, mini break muna while waiting.
हैं hungry mm -hmm. Sometimes, it's easy to feel like the world's getting harder. But if we look closer, on the news, on the web, on the street, we're anything but unkind. Every day, we hear new stories of people trying to make the world a better place. And together, we can make the world that little bit kinder for all of us. It all starts with just one person, you. The thing about kindness is that it's just about the only thing in the world that doubles when you share it. And it's a fact, backed by science. Studies have shown that if you perform just one random act of kindness a day, you'll not only reduce your stress, anxiety, and depression, but your body is flooded with the same hormones that make you and the person you've helped calmer, healthier, and happier. Serotonin, which heals your wounds, helps you relax and makes you feel good. Endorphins, which reduce pain. And oxytocin, which reduces blood pressure and makes you feel more loving and loved. You'll both be more energized, feel less aches and pains, more confident, and could even live longer. And if other people see you helping someone else, they'll be filled with those same feel-good hormones, meaning they're significantly more likely to pay it forward. Like taking that extra moment to hold the elevator for someone. Spotting a coffee for a stranger who's just a few cents short. Giving your neighbor a hand with their groceries. Even just smiling and meaning it. It doesn't take much, but it can make a huge difference for everyone. 
Those people you've helped will help other people, and those other people will help even more people. And those random acts of kindness can start a chain reaction that can spread across an entire community, a city, a country, and with enough of us, the world. Now, isn't that the world we all want? And it all starts with one. Sometimes Some call me nature. Others call me mother nature. I've been here for over four and a half billion years. 22,500 times longer than you. I don't really need people, but people need me. Yes, your future depends on me. When I thrive, you thrive. When I falter, you falter. Or worse. But I've been here for eons. I have fed species greater than you, and I have starved species greater than you. My oceans, my soil, my flowing streams, my forests, they all can take you or leave you. How you choose to live each day, whether you regard or disregard me doesn't really matter to 